Have you ever wondered if dry needling can fix rotator cuff pain? Well, the answer is it does. And today I wanna to show you what I do in clinic to fix rotator cuff injuries. So when we come and have a look at our patient Shanae, there's multiple muscles through here that make up the rotator cuff. Now we've got the supraspinatus, teres minor, infraspinatus, and then under the shoulder blade, which comes around to the front of the shoulder, the subscapularis. So I wanna show you what I do to needle each particular muscle to get the best results. To start with, I want to needle her supraspinatus muscle. Now this is probably the most commonly injured muscle in the shoulder and people will feel it when they reach overhead or sort of pressing sort of motions. The pain they get will generally be right at the front of the shoulder here and that's where the supraspinatus attaches. But the tendon will then go under this bone here, the AC joint, and then run along the top of the shoulder blade in the spine of the scapula. So the length of the muscle goes from here under that bone and attaches into here. So what we wanna do, we wanna hit the main trigger points of this muscle, putting a needle into that muscle belly, just there. The next part that gets really irritated along the supraspinatus is actually under that bone. And that's really close to where the bursitis can happen as well. So under there, and then the third point will be at that attachment point. So the next muscle we wanna needle is the teres minor muscle. So this is a very small muscle which comes along here and externally rotates the arm. It's probably more active in sort of when people elevate their arm and externally rotating in this position here. So there's two spots I like to needle and that's at its attachment at the back of the humerus through there, got a little twitch, and then into the muscle belly itself, which we can see right there on Shanae. The third muscle that we want to treat is the infraspinatus. So there's a long bone, the spine of the scapula, which goes across here. The underside of that bone, this whole flat region of the scapula, the shoulder blade, that's the infraspinatus. It's another external rotator of the shoulder and sort of helps work with the teres minor muscle. So what I'll find here is there's two major trigger point areas. Sort of if we go from here, one third down, right in the middle, we'll get a trigger point there. And then another third down the scapula, we get a trigger point there. So let's hit both of those points. One of them. So the next muscle and the final muscle that we want to treat in the sort of shoulder blade for the rotator cuff is the subscapularis. Now I've taken out those other needles because we need to move the shoulder. We want to elevate this so that that shoulder wings a little bit and we can actually get under the shoulder blade there. So the subscapularis, like I mentioned before, is the whole undersurface of that shoulder blade coming around and attaching in the front. The main things that I see will irritate this and will give pain from the subscapularis is pain in the front of the shoulder doing dipping sort of motions in CrossFit and bodybuilding or at that bottom position of the bench press when you initiate the push. So to needle it, coming in here, and getting right under that shoulder blade there. So we'll do another one just a little bit higher than that. You can really feel that's pretty jacked up. So I feel a lot of resistance. It's almost like normally when you put the needle in, it'll feel almost like butter. But if there's an issue with the muscle, it's a lot more resistant, kind of more leathery sort of feeling. And the patient will feel more of a deep ache around it. It's generally not painful, but you know you're on the spot when you have this deep radiating nagging ache, which is a good sign. So guys, that's how I really like to needle and treat the rotator cuff. But um, I've done another video where we do the active release technique on um, treating the rotator cuff and I'm going to link that for you guys to watch next.